concrete jungle secrets revealed. You see concrete every day. Sidewalks, bridges, buildings, it's everywhere. But have you ever stopped to consider what makes it so strong? The answer might surprise you. Fly ash. I dove deep into the technical standards, think ASTM and EN, so you wouldn't have to. What I found was mind-blowing. Here are five unexpected facts about fly ash that will change how you look at concrete forever. Fact 1. Ash is an understatement. Fly ash isn't just leftover residue. The European standard, EN 450-1, defines it as a finely divided powder consisting essentially of spherical glassy particles derived from burning pulverized coal. Shocker. It can also come from co-combustion with materials like animal meal and sewage sludge. This engineered product's properties are tightly controlled, regardless of the source. Fact 2. Lab tests aren't gospel. ASTM C311 admits that standardized lab tests are not intended to simulate job conditions. The chemical component determinations don't predict real-world performance in concrete. This highlights the complexity of material science in practice. Fact 3. Not all fly ash is created equal. Regenerated C618 classifies fly ash into Class F, pozzolanic, and Class C, cementitious. Class F scavenges byproducts to create more cement-like glue. Class C can harden on its own when mixed with water. Choosing the right class is crucial for desired performance. Fact 4. Fly ash is an active ingredient, ridiculously, just a cheap filler. Standards require it to actively contribute to concrete strength. The Strength Activity Index test compares mortar samples with and without fly ash. To pass ASTM C618, the fly ash sample must achieve at least 75% of the control sample strength. Fact 5. Precision matters, down to the sand. ASTM C311 includes a warning about handling sand to avoid separating fine and coarse particles. Rectangular caution.